Outrage and a whole lot of questions tonight surrounding a dramatic piece of video. Those are the screams of a terrified 14-year-old boy with autism as a Buckeye police officer okay. wrestles him to the ground. Police officials claim nothing about this is wrong, but the boy's family says watch the body cam video and you may feel differently. Tonight, ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscoving is the only Valley reporter with all of the evidence, and he's pressing Buckeye police for answers. Small, quiet neighborhood square, where you're now watching a Buckeye police officer roll up and jump out to confront a 14-year-old boy with autism. What's going on? This boy, Connor Liebel, and this is the officer, David Grossman. A lot is about to happen in the next 30 seconds, so watch first, and we'll break it down after. Yeah, what are you doing? Good. What are you doing? I'm skinny. What? How are you doing with this? What is that? Stop That's... walking away from me. It's a stream. Okay, so why are you bouncing around all the way? You have any idea on you? No. Don't go anywhere. All right, just relax. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah! 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 Stay down. I'm okay. I'm okay. During it all, the two fall into a tree. Connor is left like this. Scrapes to his back, arms, and face. If you're wondering why Connor was alone, it's because his caregiver was walking his younger sister right across the street for piano lessons at this music shop. If you're also wondering what Connor told the officer when he was approached, he said he was stimming. Stimming is a coping mechanism where he flicks a small string in front of his face. This video from his family shows him doing it out in his yard. It's the behavior that Officer Grossman claims made him think Connor was doing some sort of inhalant drug out in the middle of the day in the middle of this park. In a press conference, Buckeye police officials say they stand behind their officers' actions. Um, there was an internal investigation in this. The, uh, the internal investigation decided that there was no, no type of use of force made within this incident. Officer Grossman is a top DUI cop and certified drug recognition expert. Police say since he found Connor's actions suspicious, that allowed him to detain Connor. They also say Grossman couldn't immediately tell Connor was a juvenile. I don't know if there's anybody that would ever look at this boy and think that he's not 14 years old or, or that he's even close to being a man. Right. Do you, do you think maybe it could have been handled better? Is there any sort of acknowledgement that way? You know, I, I don't know if better would have been the, the term to use again because I'd be getting in the officer's head about what was going on in the, on that time and what he thought was um, what he was dealing with. Uh, but we are going to learn from this and hopefully deal with these situations differently. Now, in response to Buckeye PD, Connor's family was not available for an interview tonight, but in a statement, they told me they are anguished over what happened, and they're making three different demands. I'm going to read them for you. One, a face-to-face -face apology from the officer to their son. Two, for the officer to do community service in the autism community. And three, training for every officer in Buckeye PD so that this doesn't happen again. Now, the city says they just received those demands, and they're evaluating them. As for us, we'll st we're still digging into this incident and tomorrow we're going to sort out a lot more of this evidence and reveal a lot more about what happened.